everyone, it's Seth Rudetsky. Look at my crazy hair, it's because I'm doing disaster. Look at John Tracy Egan's crazy hair. Mustache. Well, that's, he's, he has double crazy hair. He has disaster hair, and then he has Mr. Bumble. Because <laughs> he's doing Oliver. No, the mustache is for disaster. Really? That's my pedophile mustache. Edit that out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but what are you gonna do for Mr. Bumble? You're not gonna have to crazy Shave it off. chops? Well, I'll have the chops, but I'm not having this 70s mustache. Last night somebody called me Ron, Ron Jeremy. Well, him too. Ron Burgundy. <laughs> My godson goes, you look like Ron Burgundy, the anchor man. <laughs> Anyone? I don't know who that is. Anyone? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Any to the who. All right, so I'm thinking we're both in disaster. So a couple things I have to say. First of all, you might know him from uh, Little Mermaid. Now, you don't know this, but I literally will rewind the Little Mermaid CD just to hear him go the, oh, I love war. Completely obsessed with that high note. He was One take, 10 a.m. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's impressive. <laughs> Thank you. He was a chef. I'm obsessed with the, oh, revoir. That's A. B, John Tracy and I were talking about aging in the dressing room because we're doing disaster. There's a brat in the show who's 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking about um, you know, being essentially over 25. Now tell them your theory for, for the older folk out there that have to deal with young people. Go. Okay, my theory is you can lie to anybody who's under 20. They, will, they don't understand anything over than 30. So you could be 50 years old and tell them you're 30 and they'll believe you because when they're under 20, they have no concept of what over 30 looks like except their parents. When they're in their 20s, you gotta go a little more like 35 because they're thinking like, they're, they're thinking, oh God, someday I'm gonna be 30. So you could be 35 because we know you're older. Yeah, you're just like older. But you're not as old as my parents, even though I'm older than their parents. Speaking but because with, we're wait, working together. Patina Miller? Patina Miller. What show are you doing? Yeah, uh, Sisteract. So I go, oh my God, how old are you? I'm older than your mother. She's like, you're not older than my mother. How old are you? I'm not saying how old I am. I'm 51. She's like, oh my God, you are older than my mother. And see. <laughs> so from now on. Edit that out. John and I are, John and I are <laughs> a solid 29. Solid. <laughs> solid as a rock. Okay, solid. so this is, a, this is a obsessed for you young actor folk out there that think, I need an agent and a this and a that. John Tracy went to an EPA, right? Equity Principal Edition? No, chorus call. Literally a chorus call. Wanna hear better? Number 280, when I showed up, I was 95. That's how many people didn't show up. Oh, wow. It was on a Saturday. For the producers, this is the audition song he's saying for the producers. So, rickety rackety chorus call, number 250. 16 the, bars. Now remember, you had to be kind of funny for the producers, and you know, it's about like Jewish people, so he, but he wanted to show off his good voice. So he did good voice, Jewish, combined. And I was in a really bad production of Jesus Christ Superstar that we called Springtime for Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. So it's appropriate. <laughs> audition. <laughs> But you, you hold every card. I will drink your cup of poison. Nail me to your cross and break me, bleed me, beat me, kill me, take me now before I change my mind. Ah, forget it. Okay, open call, literally ended up with him taking over for Nathan Lane. Kinda. Yeah. Basically, yeah. played Max Bielsack. Yeah, played Max Bielsack for, yeah, for two years almost. But it began with an open call, rickety yeah. rackety chorus call. So for all you people that are like, I'm an agent, I can't get up. Where we start? But first played Franz, but, and then played Roger. Right, and then well played. first understudied. Understudied Roger and Max while I was playing Franz. Played all, essentially played all the men, and you had, remember you had it going for Ula? Anyway, the point is, <laughs> when you got it, Okay, part two. So what I want to first do is just show the dialogue as Max and Roger and then discuss what happened one night. So do that little scene between Max and Roger. Yes. When you're convincing him to do Springtime for Hitler, go. Watch this. Roger, Roger, I think Springtime for Hitler would be a marvelous opportunity for you. I mean, let's face it, up until now, you've always been associated with frivolous musicals. Oh, you're right. I've often felt as though I've been throwing my life away on silly entertainments. Dopey showgirls, gooey gowns, two, three, kick turn, 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 kick turn. It's enough to make you heave. Okay, so he's on, John Tracy Egan's on for Max, he knows all the roles, on for Max, Gary Beach is on for Roger, it's like the eighth year of the run, you know, Gary Beach is like, what am I having for dinner? Suddenly, this Wait, happened. You play, you play Gary. Okay, okay so. Ready? <clears throat> ready? Roger, I think that springtime for Hitler would be a marvelous opportunity for you. I mean, let's face it, up until now, you've always been associated with frivolous musicals. I bet you feel like you've often thrown your life away on silly entertainment. I've been throwing my life away on silly entertainment. Dopey showgirls. Dopey showgirls. Gooey gowns. Gooey gown. Little choreography thrown in there. Kick two, three, kick, two, turn, three, turn, turn, kick, kick turn. turn, Tony it's Ward. It's enough to make you heave. <laughs> Literally every single line two was said. Two nights in a row. <laughs> Still got it. 
<laughs> and to end, now whenever John Tracy Egan, <laughs> whenever he leaves a room, this is of course what you hear. John, I'll mm -hmm. see you later. Forever. So got it, that was an A. Come see disaster. Only an A? Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>